In this video, we're going to start looking at rational numbers. Um, but before we look at the rational numbers, let's just do a little recap on what we've learned so far about different types of numbers. So the first ones we, learned, we looked at were the natural numbers. And these were represented by the letter N. And these were positive whole numbers. So positive whole numbers. Um, for example, you've got one, two, three, four, and so on. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. We know what they are. And the next one we looked at were the integers. And the integers uh, are represented by a Z, and sometimes you see it with an extra line on the Z. It's a bit weird, but that's how they draw it. And this one is positive and negative whole numbers. Whole numbers. Okay, and this would include uh, minus one, minus two, minus three, all the way up to minus whatever, and also one, two, three, four, and so on, okay? Um, and now we're gonna look at what's called rational numbers. So a rational number is uh, represented by the letter Q, okay? And rational numbers are slightly different. So these are any number Any number that can be written be written as a fraction. Now there is a, a bit more of a longer explanation but this is the basics of what a rational number is. It's a number that can be written as a fraction. It's pretty straightforward. Now what's important is we look back um, and we look at the math, the, the kind of more mathematical definition of this which is that the number can be written in um, so we'll do an or here, uh, written in, in the form of P over Q, where P, oh, sorry, P and Q are any integer and Q isn't equal to zero. OK, now the reason why uh, Q isn't equal to zero is because we're not allowed to divide by zero. And I, there will be a, um, an extra little small video, a very short video on a proof of why uh, you can't divide by zero. So basically, a rational number is any number that um, you can write as a fraction. So we'll go through a few of the examples of rational numbers, but you've seen them a lot. So you've got um, half, a third, a quarter. They're just normal ones. Um, you can have like, what, 17 over 2, uh, 35 over 7, um, I don't know, 16 over 3. You can have loads of bad ones. Bear in mind that a natural number is also a rational number. So you can write these natural numbers as fractions, can't you? You can have 3 over 1 because 1 into 3 goes 3 times, so it works out. Um, you can have 4 over 1, uh, 22 over 1. You can also have negative ones. You can have minus 33 over 1. Um, and you can go on forever. Any number that can be written as a fraction is a rational number. So I always like to think back to when we talked about sets um, and talk about the sets of numbers that we have learned about so far. So Rational numbers, I always think of as being the the parent group, okay? So the parent group is rational numbers, and I'm going to just label it Q because that's what rational numbers are. So everything inside of this box is going to be a rational number. And we remember that natural numbers are all positive whole numbers, and integers are all positive and negative whole numbers. Now, we know that this intersection here What's the intersection between natural numbers and integers? It's the positive whole numbers. So that's one, two, three, so on, so on, so on, right? There's infinite amounts of those. Um, and then we've got, in the integer section, we've got the minuses. So minus one, uh, minus two, minus three, minus four, and so on, so on, so on. And then outside of here, the question is, is there anything in the universal set. And yes, of course there is. Because natural numbers don't involve fractions and integers don't involve fractions. But you have to be careful. You can't put two over one because two over one is actually 
a natural number. But we can have numbers such as this 17 over 2, or a half, or a quarter. So basically what you've got is that every number, every natural number and every integer is a rational number. But not all rational numbers are natural numbers and integers. So I like to visualize it like that. It's a nice way of thinking about it. Um, another quick, um, just additional bit. You probably remember this uh, from primary school. But um, P up here is called the numerator. Numerator. And the bottom one is called the denominator. Denominator. Okay. So there is a basic introduction to rational numbers. Before we move on, um, every now and again you're going to see um, questions that will have a big long box or something like this split into a something amount of shapes or something amount of um, pieces and they'll shade in like however many of them and then they'll say what fraction does this represent? So what you have to do is add up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so that means the denominator is 5. And then how many are shaded in? One, two, three are shaded in, three over five. So you might see questions like that, but that's, um, you probably remember most of that from primary school. So the biggest thing to take out of this is a rational number is any number that could be written as a fraction. And we're gonna have a look through all the different types of rational numbers and different types of fractions. And uh, the video directly after this will explain why you can't have Q as zero.